Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. We got here the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 in the 7 inch version. So let's start it. On off switch is on the right upper side. Uh, we see here again the Samsung logo. We got a nice little boot animation. Again the Samsung logo. And let's Okay, four times <laughs> speed. It takes a little bit to boot up. Um, and there we go. Now let's choose the language. I just made a German video, so I just use English voice over here. We got on the side our SIM card uh, slot, but I don't have normal sized SIM card, so I just skip this step here. Next step is connecting to a Wi Fi network. Um, I do this. And there we go. Now, date and time. Yeah, let's choose it automatically from the net. Next step is a Samsung account for some cloud stuff, gaming, picture services, and what else is Samsung offering. I don't have this, I don't actually need it, so we skip it again. And there we go, we can hook up now our G, uh, Google account here. You can create a new one or you can skip this step. I just connect with my own account. And it's asking for a credit card for payment. I don't have this activated here for the Google wallet account. Next step is uh, backup and restore uh, this is not my tablet so i will skip it if it's your tablet and you are keeping it then of course activate it and last but not least step is the google gps positioning allowance um, so if you're okay with it for with you google using your your position for its services and if you're okay with giving you special search results, um, then of, of course you have to check it. Um, I just, I, I, uh, especially for the 3G, 3G version, I will do this. And on the next step, we can choose our name or change our name. And that's it. Now it's saying finished, not next, next step. So there we go. And we are in our home screen. We can already see we got the weather widget, uh, got my location right, the time is right, the date is right. We can see a whole bunch of apps and not just normal stand Android apps, but also um, yeah, like advertising apps like Automobile Club here in Germany, uh, HRS Hotel Search, eBay, so it, this tablet comes with pre-installed apps that are not normally on a pure Android tablet. As you can see, uh, Samsung has not put over the normal Android user interface their own, the Samsung Touch with a touch with a user interface. It's changed a little bit. Um, the bar is not on top for date and uh, Wi-Fi information, it's on the button. Um, let's check out which Android version we are running. We got Android 4.0.4 here. Let's check if there's a software update. Okay. And device is going to be regis registered. And we check again and it says no internet connection. That's strange because we got our Wi-Fi hooked up. It should work. So let's try it again. No connection. Ah, that's going to try to connect with the server. And no update available for our Galaxy Tab 2. Um, let's go back down here. You can see the... Uh, the keys, it's back, it's home button, it's app switching, and another strange little button. Uh, you, there you can each, actually, the next one is for switching between um, your standard apps like clock, calendar, uh, task manager, 
Let me go back to our lock screen. And um, what I can tell, its first impression is good. I'm not sure yet if I like the Samsung user interface. I actually prefer the Nexus, uh, the Android vanilla version. And uh, let's play around with this. I have to get used to it. And I will tell you about this in a later video, of course. So, thanks for watching and bye.